The West isn't getting the message. America in particular is not getting the message. You didn't learn after 9-11, and amazingly, you still didn't learn after Orlando, after the Pulse nightclub shootings, after Omar Mateen. And then, and then you saw that. And then you saw progressive celebrities and politicians saying, it's nothing to do with Islam. We must, you know, the, the, you know, the, the, real, the real response, you know, the really appropriate response to Orlando is to um, make sure that it doesn't produce any Islamophobia. This is, their, this is their bullshit in action, you know, and it is dangerous and terrifying. You expect it, you know, these idiots, you know, gays for Palestine, queers for Palestine, they would literally kill you the minute you got off the plane. 98% of Palestinians think homosexuality is an unacceptable lifestyle choice. There's one place, by the way, in the Middle East you do go if you're gay, and that's Tel Aviv, but never mind. Um, <laughs> obviously. But the response from the left is to pander to, the, to pander to the bad guys over and over and over again. Hillary Clinton, of course, taking hundreds of millions of dollars from Saudi Arabia. Well, not anymore, obviously. Um, <laughs> shame, isn't it? Clinton Global Initiative. <laughs> shame. Well, see, now they've, see, this is, this is demonstration. Demonstration of just what a sort of quid pro quo organization it was. Just how closely tied donations to the Clintons were with access to Hillary and influence on what she did in government. As soon as she didn't win the presidential race, the donations stopped. Now, if this was an organiza organization really dedicated to doing good in the world, if this was a real charity, like other charities, if this was a foundation like Bill, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, for instance, trying to cure malaria or do something real, you wouldn't imagine that a failed presidential run would cut off every single last major donor. But of course, that's exactly what happened to the Clintons, because it was a pay-for-play scam. And with that in mind, it, sort of under it helps you to understand where the motivations of some Democrat politicians go. It is no longer the case that Republicans are the party of big business. Big business hates Donald Trump and loved Hillary. And to see Antifa outside tonight, and all of the various other idiots causing trouble in Washington, Smashing the windows of Bank of America and Starbucks, both of whom gave liberally to liberals, uh, both of whom were major donors to Clinton's campaign, just gives you an indication of how boneheaded and stupid these people are. Because if they really wanted to be countercultural, if they really wanted to be punks, if they really wanted to be dissidents and mischief makers, if they really wanted to piss off their parents and get ejected from polite society, they'd put a Make America Great Again hat on. 